Information from the Psychological Perspective on How to Deal with COVID-19 Restrictions in social life or even quarantine are necessary to curb the spread of the COVID-19 virus. A general exit restriction is currently in effect. There is a curfew in some places. People who may have been infected or who have been diagnosed with the virus must remain in quarantine. Recommendations These measures do not leave us without a trace. A reduction in social contacts can be a burden for us. A suspicion of infection, the fear of it, or the disease itself can also have a negative impact on our psyche. In order to be able to deal with these loads more easily, the following points are recommended. Establish security. Regular information from reliable sources, for example, CDC, Centers for Disease Control Prevention, helps prevent thoughts from becoming independent. This creates security in a situation where fears and worries are perfectly normal and understandable. Accepting feelings. Rapidly changing emotions are normal in crisis situations. From helplessness, fear, to anger, anxiety, or feelings of senselessness and emptiness, many emotions can appear and change quickly. In such emotional times, you should refrain from making serious decisions. Setting goals. This gives you a feeling of control. The goals must be realistic and appropriate to the circumstances. This can be writing in a diary, learning new skills, tidying up, doing work that has otherwise always been left behind. Talk about it. Sharing the worries with friends, relatives, colleagues and comrades helps in crisis situations. Keep in touch. It is important to continue to maintain regular social contacts through phone, chats and video calls. The topic of coronavirus should not, however, determine the whole conversation. It is important to pay attention to the other person to see if the topic becomes too much or too stressful. Look for distractions. Keep yourself consciously distracted from the prevailing coronavirus topics. Talk about other topics, read, pursue hobbies if possible. Allow humor. Humor is allowed. It is a powerful remedy for hopelessness. Smiling and laughing often bring relief. Stay active. Do things you never have time for and consciously carry out positive activities, such as handicrafts, tinkering, needlework, cooking, something nice, or watching a great movie. Exercise physically. It is also important not to forget the physical balance. Exercising helps to reduce stress and anxiety. Maintain an everyday rhythm. Try to stay in the usual routine even in this exceptional situation. If you get up at certain times, do your tasks first, and then have some free time. You should also eat and go to bed at the usual times. This is especially important for children. Activate resources. Find things that give you courage. Example, think about sentences that reassure yourself and the family, and provide security. Such as, We will be able to deal with the situation together. Do not lose sight of your own strengths. In crisis situations, the focus is automatically on fears and that which does not work. In order to always achieve a balance in the psychological state of mind, it is necessary to consciously focus on the good, the positives, and the strengths. What can parents do to take children's fears away? Let yourself be guided by the children's questions and then give an honest and child-friendly answer. Limit or monitor media consumption for corona don't keep away but use it in a measured manner. Explain it. Be open to questions from the children and stay with it. Provide security through structured, predictable everyday life. Enable social contacts via phone and internet. Possibly give more attention when fears take over. Stay calm yourself. Fear is contagious. Allow play and distraction. Play together and be creative.